Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversation. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So what I have here are your January mid-month check-ins, yes? January 2019. So because I was working on the six month forecasts for 2019 and I was wanted to get those out before the 1st of January, I wasn't able to do full January readings for the collective. So I am bringing you guys a mid month check in. Uh, this is going to be a normal um, general freestyle reading, uh, just like always. I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot and I am using the Unicorn Oracle. Yeah. Um, and so this is just this general normal reading. We are going to be looking at what's going on currently around you since we already in the are already are in the month of January. We're going to be looking at what's currently going on around you and then what could be coming up down the line at the end of the month. So we're looking at for that. We're, we're, uh, we're looking at this from around the 15th to the 31st. Yeah. I want to want to wish a special happy birthday to all the Capricorns out there. Very happy birthday to you. We are smack dab in the middle of Capricorn season. I hope you guys are having a great birthday. I hope everybody had a great holiday. We are out of the holiday season now, so we might be going through that, you know, post-holiday funk, uh, the uh, seasonal depression maybe, but I hope everyone's doing well. Um, if you would like a personal reading, go ahead and email me. These are general readings, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. The energies are fluid. They could go either way. We could either be talking about you personally, or we could be talking about uh, someone that you're connecting with. Cross watchers, you know, it, take, what it, take it as it resonates. Also, everybody, just take it as it resonates. And again, if you would like a personal reading, go ahead and email me, and I can get that set up for you. Yeah, I believe that's it. Ooh, um, good news. I am back at Om Shanti Bookshop here in, in the East Village of New York City. It is on East 14th Street. That is between 3rd and 4th. No, I'm sorry. That's between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. There it is. Um, but I'm going to be there Fridays now from 11 to 5 p.m. So go ahead and uh, you can give them a call. The email address, I'm sorry, the website is in the description box below. So you can go there, get their phone number, give them a call if you would like to... Uh, uh, book a reading in advance that can happen yeah and actually you know that way you don't have to potentially wait if someone else got in before you yes okay I think that's it so without further ado we're gonna get straight to it yes Aha. hello there Taurus welcome to your reading for mid January 2019 thank you so much for tuning in let's get into it <laughs> hi spirit Please make me a clear channel for all Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good for all involved for our mid-January check-in 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, um, so Taurus, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be straight up with you guys. I just feel like you're kind of pissed off right now um there could be pride and ego involved with that i don't know if you know some something may have happened where you were just being like very fixed in the situation which makes sense you're a fixed sign um but that may have worked out to your detriment um and now you're kind of sitting because i see a bull uh just kind of like sitting in the grass in the grass or whatever in in the forest or wherever wherever a bull would be and just um the energy that i'm feeling from the bull is annoyance aggravation uh almost as if someone might have been like pulling your tail or annoying you poking you and you know you know what they say poke the bull you get the horns um but for some of you for some of you i feel like this is a product of your own of selfishness, of stubbornness, um, uh, and in, uh, 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 choosing not to move, um, refusing to move. And, you know, a, a Taurus, you're a fixed sign anyway, and that can be good. You know, there are some good aspects to that. But, you know, keep in mind, this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, but this also could be the product of someone else's stubbornness. Something just doesn't feel 
easy. I just feel like for some of you or for whoever I'm channeling for right now, uh, you know, one, one or two more pokes and someone's about to get rammed. You know, well, not rammed because you're not a ram, you're a bull, but someone's about to get the horns, okay? Uh, someone may have already gotten the horns. We'll see, but... All right, uh, one more shuffle for you, Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. January 2019. Mm, here we go. Boop. All right, overall energy for you, Taurus. We have the Three of Wands. So this might be some of the frustrating energy you're going, you're feeling, the frustrated energy that you're feeling, or someone around you might be feeling frustrated because... Um, either you or they have been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And it's almost as if whoever's being really stubborn here um, is be doing it in a kind of a nonchalant way. And is just saying, well, whatever, I'm a bull. I'm an earth sign. I can wait you out longer than you think you can. So you want to play that game with me? Let's play. And in some situations, okay, that is that could be beneficial but I just don't feel like it is mostly. All right, so we have the world here. So there may there's a closing of a cycle. Um, you, so part of this frustration may be Taurus that you have closed out a cycle and it might be taking a little longer than you would expect. Um, although bulls, uh, Taurans can be fairly patient. Uh, they are pretty patient. They, I mean, I feel like they're the most patient sign, you know. Of, of all of the zodiac but uh, even still sometimes patience can wear thin we are human um, and you're waiting for yeah a cycle has been closed out you someone has moved away either you've moved away from a tauren or a tauren has moved away from you okay and um or taurus like taurus you've been the one to move away and a cycle has been closed out and now you are waiting or you're in the process of waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for this new cycle. Because I do feel like some of you have really put in a good deal of work towards this. And the work was twofold. One, in creating this new, this new life or new adventure or whatever. And two, in closing out the old. All right. And then finally, you have the Knight of Pentacles energy here. So there's still, I mean, there's a good amount of patience. Yes. Someone feel, I, I just feel some sort of uneasy energy. And that could be be that could be the unease in change because also taurins don't like change so uh, fixed signs especially taurins don't like change so um that could be that that energy that restless or that 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 tumultuous energy of you poke me and you, I, i'm just gonna leave it at that like I don't, I don't i'm not even gonna say don't touch don't yo back up off me back up off me <laughs> That kind of thing. Um, but that really could be. Uh, now, you might need to be. So it, the lesson here for some of you Taurans or whoever, someone that might be dealing with a Taurus, you might really need to work on being as patient as possible right now. Because it does, I do see that things are changing. Cycles are en ending. Someone has walked away or you have walked away or you are walking, moving towards something new here. And you have to take it one step at a time. All right. So the first row here is going to be the current energy for you. The second row is going to be the upcoming energies for the end of the month. All right. So let's see what we have for you, Taurus. First set of surrounding energies. You've got the Hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, but I really feel like there's a, there's a lot of introspection that's happened for you recently, Taurus. And for some of you, you could have been in a position where... Um, you know, you were forced to go within because of your own actions. You were forced to face yourself. And that's a general energy, to be quite honest. A lot of us, or the whole collective, is in like an energetic space where you can't really ignore yourself, the, in the universe, the messages coming through from the universe. You can't ignore that anymore. All right? So, um, yeah, it makes sense that why some of you could have really been forced to go within. Sorry, I'm messing with my my light here. Um, but ultimately, there's a there's introspection. There's a deeper understanding. You could be in somewhat of of a hermit mode too. Um, I really do. Actually, that's what I, I was I was picking up on that earlier. Also during the pre shuffle, um, you know, it feels like you're kind of hermitage at the moment. That could just be a seasonal thing. For the most part, I feel like it is. But for others of you, you're going through this this change, and it's a deep change. It's a big change. 
a powerful change. So you may not want to associate with anyone just because of the fact that, you know, they do the wrong, do they, if they, if someone were to do, to rub you in the quite the right way, you'd probably pop off on them. <laughs> the hermit is coupled with, <sighs> yep, king of swords. You could uh, be dealing with a air sign, uh, potentially, namely an Aquarius, um, or just a Libra or a Gemini, but you know, Aquarius is the fixed energy of the air signs and that's what the Kings represent. They represent fixed energy. So, but what I really see, I see a pretty aggressive energy here in this King of Swords. It's almost like he's looking for a fight in this circumstance. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. Um, so this is definitely that energy of, yo, leave me alone unless you, unless you wanna throw down, cause I'm ready to throw down. Like, I'm ready to fuck some shit up. <laughs> oh, Lord, Taurus. Um, now, this could, be, this could be a Virgo that you're dealing with that is extremely logical. It might be a bit of a shit starter. Um, might be looking for a fight. Might be pretty aggressive. Or this could be an air sign that's feeling that way. It doesn't have to be. It could really be anything. It doesn't have to be you, Taurus, okay? So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, but uh, this is, it, uh, what I'm feeling here overall, the energy that I'm feeling is someone is looking, looking for a fight or is ready for a fight. And it's not going to be very hard to uh, tip them off, okay? But at the same time, this is an energy of going within and being logical, st uh, um, um, seeing things clearly, seeing things for what they truly are. And it could be that some of the things that you're seeing within are really making you upset, okay? I really feel like some of you are going through a situation where you're looking within and you don't like what you see. So because of that, you're having to really uh, quell your anger, tame your anger. Your ego might be flaring up a lot. And so you may need to be taking on the energy of the balanced energy of the King of Swords in um, being diplomatic and seeing things as clearly as possible, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus. You've got temperance. Yep. You could be dealing with a Sagittarian, but um, this is a balancing act. This is alchemy. This is bringing... This is bringing some sides of, to, of yourself together that may have been at odds with each other in the past. This is alchemy. So this is bringing opposing or different compounds together and, um, you know, and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Bringing these sides, these components, these opposing components together and creating a new compound. Okay, that's what alchemy would be. And that could be a big part of this completion that you're experiencing here, this ending of the cycles with the world. And so this is why, and also temperance is another major arcana. So this is not something that's necessarily going to happen overnight or too quickly. Um, and that could really be painful. It really could be painful. Um, but ultimately, it's leading you to a better place, okay? Temperance is coupled with yeah, the seven of pentacles. So you do have, there is definitely a need to be patient here. Some of you really have put in the work, you know, and so now because of the work that you've put in, the results are being developed. The results are manifesting. Um, so you, you have to put in the time and the effort towards allowing that to happen. Um, but some, a lot of you are going through, yeah, like I said earlier, some of you may have been seeing some things within that you really do not like. But in this sense, you're learning from that experience. You're, this is very much a you reap what you sown type of energy. And so now you are in a balancing act or an alchemization period to balance or clear some of this up, okay? Your current challenge here, Taurus, you have the Page of Pentacles. Excellent. So this is new. This is starting something new. Um, starting over, but in the sense of leveling up for the most part. Um, this could be messages. Now, the challenge could be sending a message of to someone. Uh, and it almost feels like an apology. But it fe but it, it feels like an apology in the sense of just like coming clean about something, being honest about something, uh, standing in a, a greater sense of integrity also. Yeah. Yeah. 
uh, with the Page of Pentacles, the message that I'm getting that maybe you want to, to send Taurus or someone may want to be sending to you, uh, maybe what you've been looking to receive is uh, owning up to something. Okay, the Page of Pentacles is coupled with yeah, the lovers. We could be talking about commitment here. So um, we could be talking, someone could be desiring or feeling pressed to make some sort of commitment. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Gemini. But also in terms of leveling up here, what I'm seeing is someone that is bringing masculine and feminine into balance and is from there, um, becoming a new version of themselves is leveling up in a sense is completing the alchemy here that we're talking about with temperance all right so closing message for the current energies or at least your potential outcome you have the fool look at that Taurus so you went from having the world in your overall energy to the fool so you're definitely definitely closing out cycles and embarking on a brand new life a brand new journey a brand new expression and it definitely could be a brand new expression because you do have alchemy in bringing some opposing sides or differing sides of yourself together and then it creates a new compound from there or a new life, a new reality, a new being, right? So with the fool, um, yeah, you're definitely leveling up too. Either you are Taurus or someone that you're connecting with someone around you. And if it's someone else, Taurus, that really could be why you are feeling so, maybe feeling so annoyed, maybe even jealous. It's because in fact, in a sense, they would be leaving you behind, right? Mm -hmm. The fool is coupled with the seven of wands. So in this new state, I really feel like you have a greater sense of boundaries. Um, and you would need to, because what I'm feeling like here is you're definitely, someone is definitely leveling up. And in order to maintain that, they would need to put boundaries in place. So I'm really seeing keeping those people that you may have associated with in the past, just keeping them at bay, just pushing them to, to the side and be like, no, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to stay over there uh, because I really can't have that bullshit in my space. <laughs> Okay, and for some of you that may have been a hard lesson to learn All right Whoever is leveling up here whether it's you Taurus or the other person or another person you're connecting with There are some hard boundaries being put in place. Okay For your end of the month the first set of surrounding energies you got the king of Pentacles there you are Taurus all right, you are secure, you're, uh, you're well manifested, you are financially stable or maybe even working on maintain, or, uh, 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 developing your financial stability. Definitely focused on your career, focused on your physical representation, focused on your manifestations, maybe even focused on family. Some of you may be stepping up into a fatherly role because we are talking about someone, I did pick up that someone is being faced with um, making some sort of commitment so there could be a marriage proposal coming, or at least um, you could be in the process of planning for proposing or um, looking into whether you want to take that step, okay? 1555 on the counter, so change is happening. Uh, but this, I'm really getting a vibe of maturity, honesty, um, and, uh, and, and owning up. Okay, King of Pentacles is coupled with the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so we really could be talking about a marriage, a commitment, um, do, uh, some sort of investment um, in together in some sort of relationship, investing in the long term. But also we're talking about career and finances for sure. So by the end of the month, Taurus, you may be extremely well manifested. Money really may be coming in for you, um, or you're just really focused on building your brand, building your product, developing your career, whatever it is you're looking to do. Um, and I really feel, ooh, chow, look, and this King of Swords is staring at me right now saying, y'all better keep away from my shit. I ain't about to have you up in my house destroying what I built. So if you can't hang, you need to get the fuck out of here now. Ooh. 
Ooh, he is not playing around, y'all. And this is that aggressive energy that I'm feeling within you, Taurus. Like, damn. Y'all ain't playing, huh? <laughs> Second set of surrounding energies for the end of the month. You've got nine of pentacles. Yo, Taurus, you are doing the damn thing, aren't you? Now, I just got to put it out there because this is a general reading, so the energies can go either way. This really could be someone else that you're connected with too, which really could only be making you feel more aggressive. And for some of you, you you're watching this happen. You're watching this person separate from you and, and go into this new state. And it's forcing you to look within because you might have been exhibiting some narcissistic tendencies, Taurus. But this, if this, Taurus, if this isn't you, this is another person, this is another uh, group of people, maybe a group of friends, um, whatever situation you have brought to it, a close here and that you have walked away from, whoever is walking away, the other person is probably quite jealous. And I'm seeing it in the King of Swords here because it's like you're shining a light on who they truly are or, or, or how they have been acting. You're shining a light on their actions and it's not cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but look at you, Taurus. Independent, single, strong, abundant, not needing anything or anyone to make you happy because you already have your happiness. You already have your fulfillment. It's all right there within you. Good for you. Nine of Pentacles is coupled with, ooh, chow, the Queen of Cups. So not only are you financially and physically abundant, you're compassionate, you're understanding. Um, and this actually is a representation of either having firm boundaries or needing to have firm boundaries. But here for whoever is embodying this nine of pentacles energy, you really are, you're probably extremely intuitive. You might be working in some psychic capacity. You might be a card reader or whatnot, an empath, an intuitive person, um, a healer. But what I'm also getting on a general scale is that you are very compassionate and you're actually very understanding of the others that you have walked away from or you have separated from and their positions in life. Now, that doesn't mean that you're going to allow yourself to take shit from them. Absolutely not. No one is, is expecting you or is asking that of you. But at the same time, even though you have your boundaries in place, you still understand. And I don't really feel like you hate anybody. You might be annoyed. You might be, you know, on edge. You might be really guarded if they were to approach you or if you were to run into them on the street or something. But that doesn't mean you don't understand where they are coming from, okay? Or why they may have acted in the way that they did, okay? That's actually, this is actually a really beautiful place to be, Taurus. Nine of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups. Because the Nine of Pentacles can be a really, can be a pretty selfish energy, it can be very rigid, uh, extremely logical. But when you balance it out with compassion and understanding, and especially the compassion and understanding of the Queen of Cups, you have a really powerful combination. And it's actually a very attractive combination too. So good on you, honey. <laughs> Your challenge in the end of the month, you have, ah, the magician. So you're really focused on your manifestations. And this is a challenge, or at least it's showing up as your challenge, but it doesn't feel that challenging. It's just, a, it's just showing up as a challenge because that's what you're working on right now. You're manifesting the new. You've ended the cycle with the world, okay? You've entered into a new cycle here with the fool and now you're challenged towards the end of the month. Do you see this progression here from the world, which is the last card of the major arcana, arcana card number 21, to the first card of the major arcana, so the, from the end to the beginning, whenever there's one ending, something new is beginning, you have zero here with the fool, and then you're moving into the one, the magician, the manifestation, the understanding of the laws of the universe and the tools that you have uh, in the, in terms of manifestation and now putting that into use to create what it is you desire. And you're doing this from this new point of view that you have stepped into with the fool. That's beautiful. The magician is coupled with a now judgment. Now you're doing this, whatever it is you're manifesting, okay, your challenge is to do this in accordance with your higher self or the callings of your higher self, whatever intuitive guidance you're getting from spirit, whether that be your, your guides, 
um, your angels, God, him or herself, whatever, whoever you identify with the most. But this is the challenge here is not nar is not manifesting from a point of narcissism. You're manifesting from a point of what is going to serve the highest good of yourself and your family and everyone involved. OK, that can be a challenge, especially <clears throat> especially when you elevate into a greater sense of power. There is a tendency <clears throat> to want to somewhat. I'm just gonna say it this way because that's what how, how I came through. Abuse that power, all right? And you're being guided to not <laughs> do that, all right? That is your challenge here because you have stepped to, someone has, either you Taurus or someone else that you're connecting with has stepped into a new sense of power here and that can be deadly. That You can rack up some real nasty karma for yourself there, okay? Closing message or potential outcome for the end of your month here, you have, hey now, the King of Wands. The King of Pentacles and the King of Wands have been coming out for me personally a lot. And that makes sense because, you know, I am a Taurus sun in Western astrology, but I'm an Aries sun in um, in Eastern astrology. Now, granted, the King of Wands does represent Leo energy, but it could also represent any fire sign. Technically, Aries energy would be the Queen of Wands because Aries is a cardinal sign. Uh, Leo is a fixed sign. Kings are fixed energies or masculine energy is fixed energy. Okay. But the King of Wands here is someone, either you Taurus or someone else. There could be a fire sign coming into your life that you are manifesting right now. And this person could potentially be, um, highly resonant with you. Um, but this is someone who's very passionate and knows exactly what he wants and what he's going and, and, and how to get it. And he's not and he's not going to let anybody stop him. Now, it could be a narcissistic energy. So with this challenge here the, that of the magician with the judgment card, you're really being challenged, especially with this king of wands energy showing up. Now, you're really being challenged to not manifest from a narcissistic place. All of us, the whole collective is in a deep collective cycle of releasing narcissism from our subconscious and our conscious okay so this is a really important point here be passionate be fiery know what it is you want and go after it don't waste your time in fear and shame but also remain in this compassionate energy of the queen of cups okay King of Wands is coupled with, ooh, whoa, the Knight of Wands. Wow, so there is a lot, <laughs> woo, you're moving really, somebody's moving real quick, Taurus. But temper that with the Knight of Pentacles energy here, understanding that you have to take it step by step. But that doesn't mean you can't maintain your passion and your fire, all right? Someone may be sending out a message, a fire sign, or someone that's very passionate um, may be sending out a message to you towards the end of the month. You may be wanting to send out a passionate message to someone towards the end of the month. Um, I really feel like there's this, what I'm feeling here, if this is a, a, a connection with someone else, this is more than just sexual. It feels much stronger than just sexual, although it could be. It's incredibly passionate, but it feels like there's some there's actual love in here instead of just lust or desire. Um, but this is also light working, okay? So you may be taking it to the next level, Taurus, or someone else connected to you, Taurus, is really taking it to the next level and being a light worker, sharing their vision, sharing their light. All right, and that's beautiful. But that also, mm, that could be why you're having a light shown on you right now if that's resonating with you, okay? All right, Taurus, so let's get your oracle guidance here for the month, for the mid-month check-in of January, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, Taurus, one more shuffle. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For January mid-month check-in. Let's see what you got, Taurus. Best message, please, Spirit. Ooh, okay. You've got two. All right, see, look. On the bottom of the deck, you have passion. 
Do what excites you. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. That's beautiful. Now, you have two more messages here. You have miracles. Have faith that your miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how. And I really feel like this is speaking to the um, maybe the restless energy that you might be feeling. All right. But then you also have anger. Safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions as sacred. So this is also that energy that I was picking up on, that aggressive energy that, you know, you're, you're, like, you're one straw away from breaking that camel's back. Like, if someone were to push you or poke you just the right way, you're about to go off on them. So don't hide from that, okay? But also, wow, there's a really strange echo in my room that I'm recognizing right now and it's a little annoying. But anyway, I'm going to get I'm going to get through this and fix it. But take don't ignore that that those emotions, but harness them into propelling you forward. All right? Instead of taking a lashing out on someone or taking your anger out on someone else, instead cultivate that energy and use it to help you move forward towards this new beginning, towards what it is you are manifesting in your life. All right, Taurus, so there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and shoot me an email. My, in, my email address is in the description box down below. Um, much love to you guys. I hope you guys have a great January, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of February. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.